Cool. Hello class, um, it's John once again, going over this time um, green screen lighting. So you notice how I'm in, um, you notice like the backdrop behind me is green. Um, this is your green screen that we have at the office. Um, it's particularly kind of green, so it, like the color green, the fluorescent green of it, is to make sure that it doesn't, it's not common in like a lot of color fabrics, so it's easy for the computer to recognize it and then take out that color so you can then like replace this backdrop with whatever you want. Um, and for the green screen, for lighting for the green screen um, is like the key importance. So I'm, so you have a, you have a three point light setup. We have like um, one key light, one fill light, and one back light. And you just want to make sure that the subject and also the green screen is evenly lit, that there's not a lot of shadows going on. Um, and that you can see clearly, and that the color is relatively smooth. All right. Another consideration to take into is distance, and what like, distance of the light and the subject, and distance of the subject and the background. Now, the subject is usually like three to like five feet away from the green screen. That's because if you if the subject is say closer, you're gonna get like a green outline on the shoulders and the body. And that'll like really mess up, mess you up for editing, and also it'll create shadow in the background. Um, and then, so yeah, like three, at least three feet away from your green screen background, and then about four feet away. Your lights should be like about four feet away from your subjects, and angled away from your camera so that they're shooting um, from like two different angles. So like the awesomeness of a, of a green screen background is that in like any editing program, you can take out the green and then replace it with another backdrop, like this, and also like this. Um, and we'll be getting more into how to do that once we go into um, the second workshop, which is editing. So now we're continuing on our talk about lighting. I'm just gonna go into general lighting, which is um, a basic three-point light setup, and it's really to make sure that your subject is really well lit. Um, so you have your key light, which is your main light, which is gonna give you um, the majority of your light, and it's always gonna be pointed at your subject. And then you have your fill light, which is um, at another angle, just like filling in all the other light that, um, to fill in like shadows, um, to, to fill in shadow and give your subject more um, detail. Then you have the back light, which is pointed towards the subject's back, and to give um, more definition and also um, just highlight them better to make sure that they're all illuminated and clear. So right now I'm just going to go through a run through for um, the light kits we have. Um, so this is uh, the main video lights we have. Um, notice the body. Um, notice how large it is. Um, and then if you look here. Uh, there's a dial in the back that you can turn to move the light one to, um, to flood and then to move forward. Um, we have a scram just to protect the bulb. And also, another feature we have is the on and off switch um, and a dimmer. So you can make it like higher and lower if you want to. So this is um, the exact same kit, only right now it has a softbox on it. So all this does is um, it helps soften the light, right? So, um, and you'll see later on, instead of like having like a really harsh light, like you have like this white infuser to help um, evenly distrib uh, distribute the light and then like also add a soft glow to it. And then the extension on this kit is um, called Barn Doors. Uh, you'll see them a lot on professional rigs. Um, and same thing, it's just to, you move the doors to focus um, where you want your light placement to be. So this is how a three-point lighting setup would look during an interview. Um, and then each for each interview, you want to light it you know, separately, just making sure that you're getting the best light as possible. Um, again, like the key is um, 
the key is giving me the most light. The fill is um, filling up shadow. The backlight is um, is you no know, um, lighting my back and giving me a bit of definition. Also, you notice how the board and back, because it's white, it's bouncing off light, and also um, adding definition to my back because it's because it's like working with light tea. Um, also, notice how my hat will look. Um, um, during seating, like you might need to have people take off the hats if they can, or if, unless you like the effect. So this is an example of um, a dramatic lighting set. Um, notice how um, you're using the lights minimally to also create like a lot of shadow. And for dramatic lighting, it's also like what you sew and what you don't sew have equal weight. Um, and it's really, there's like no set way to like light a dramatic scene. It's really um, about like kind of what do you want to focus on, like kind of how do you want to play with the lights for yourself. Um, notice how we'll have um, this one like working as like a lamp, just like giving a better general light. And then we have the barn doors with like just giving like a sliver of light over my face. And then it looks just like I'm lamenting over something. I could be sad, I could be in deep thought, thinking about something I once lost and trying to regain. <laughs> I didn't expect you to talk, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. This is another example of dramatic lighting. Um, this time we're only using one lamp um, with the barn doors, and it's really, um, so yeah, and it gives like a whole a whole new effect, and like really so I want to encourage you to play with the lighting for different scenes that you need. Um, also, just a bit of caution, like when you're working with the lamps, they burn like with the video lamps, they burn really hot. Um, so just be wary of that, and also don't touch the bulbs; they will break. <laughs> Nothing less. So now, um, this is an example of how you can um, light, different, um, light different scenes to like, get the exact look that you want. It's so, like, say you want, like, you want to light a scene like it's during the day, but you don't really have that control over the sun. You can just like, position a, a light outside the window and then like, position it just like how you want the sun to position it. Um, and really, like, a lot with light is just like, kind of how you control it and like, having control. So we encourage you to like, you know, get your hands on the light kit and just like play around and like really utilize it for what works best for you. There is really no right or wrong. Um, it's just about making sure that you're getting what you need.